importing a wow zone into unity in one minute we got unity running we have the terrain creator game object with the splat mat importer and the import adt world script now we need to run the custom wow export tool from my uh, github this of course builds wow export.exe and then you just have to go to the maps tab up here and I'm gonna use Azure's credit I've been using this for testing select all 30 maps dirt chunks all right we got 30 chunks or tiles selected let's export those that took about a minute and you're gonna notice in my settings I'm ex boarding straight into my unity project folder so here you could see my unity project folder and here is the assets folder from unity and it's in a subfolder of that called export so if I go back to unity you'll see that it automatically imports the files and those were getting exported right here to assets slash exports so all the files exported by wow.export are going right into my uh, unity project and now all we have to do is select a certain file when we imported this it went into world or I'm sorry maps slash PVP zone 02 so whatever you select and while to export all of that data gets saved into this JSON file so we go to terrain creator and we put the export data onto here this is essentially importing one entire export session and all you have to do at that point is click parse the export data and you're gonna notice that it is uh, creating or updating terrain tiles or terrain data and there it is I'm uh, zoomed in so let me zoom out and we can see what it did it populated all of this so we could see it's uh, brought in the entirety of Ashar's crater you'll notice that it has a doodads a WMO and a terrain so I'll find one that has has all three I think 32 32 does and you can see the doodads the WMOs and of course the terrain tile and each one of these uh, World of Warcraft chunks is broken down into one unity terrain object and of course you can zoom in and see all of the details uh, there is a uh, the texture scale on the train still needs to be fixed that's next on my to-do list but a minority in comparison to uh, the overall project and uh, everything is correct and a one-to-one -one match for wow it's real nice that there are no uh, baked textures these are properly tiling textures using splat maps and we'll go ahead and hit play and we can see here that the terrain collider is working so I can walk I can walk on the terrain and the other thing is we are rendering the entire Azure Crater map and it's only taking about a thousand draw calls set pass calls you can see up here in the right hand corner and I'm getting uh, 70 80 frames per second so this is a nice tool if you're working with World of Warcraft and Unity for either Machinima or game development and you get a lot better performance out of these uh, terrain tiles than you do from meshes and baked terrain textures.